Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your friendly neighborhood mate here, bringing you yet another Alpscript tutorial. So today we are going to be focusing on try and catch blocks. Now what these do is test a chunk of code, and if there's an error or something goes wrong, it's going to handle this code and run another block of code instead of just stopping your program altogether. So this is very useful in checking you know, if the users entered the correct type of input, or stuff like that. So I'm going to show you how to check if the user has entered a certain type of input today. And I'm going to do this with try and catch block and repeat statement, which we learned in my last tutorial. So let's get started. So I'm going to make a variable, so set condition type to false. Now this is a condition that is going to be checked if it is returned true, if our script is ran correctly, and we can continue. So I'm going to make a new repeat block. So repeat until condition is true. I'm just going to end repeat. I'm going to go up here. Try on error. And finally, end try. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to repeat this trying and catch block. And then once we try this, and we don't have any errors, so that means the user is going to enter the correct type of input that we want. We are going to continue our program. So I want my user to enter an age. So say we're making an application that was trying to get the user's birthday or something like that. So I'm just going to try, oh, display dialog, enter an age. I should put your age. Not you, nor. And default answer will be blank for text. Actually, why don't you just have age here? Actually, no, I want to set a variable, excuse me. So set age to. So I'm going to set age to text returned of age as number. So what we're going to do here is set our variable age to the input, the text input of a dialog box. Now what we want to do is set age, so we're going to replace age with the text return of this, and we're going to try and change it to a number. So if the user entered a string, so just say they entered their name, it's going to return an error. So what we're going to do is we're going to beep, so we're going to issue beep to the computer, and we're going to just display alert you must enter a number and set condition to false. And I forgot to add here set condition to true. So if this return everything else correctly, we want to continue with our code down here. So let's run this. So age here, I'm going to enter, enter a string. So this is going to turn false. So you must enter a number. I'm going to try to enter a different string. Tacos. And here I'm going to enter an age, so let's just enter 125, and we return true. Now I'm just going to add something down here, display alert, everything worked, exclamation point, run, split an age, there we go, everything worked. So as you can see here, we get the user to enter an age. Or we can do the same thing pretty much, but with strings, you know, just swap stuff around a bit. So as string, and um, pretty much there you go. So you can use try and catch blocks without the repeat statement. Um, basically the same way, you know, say the user enters something or there be an error, uh, that usually go unhandled and stop your script. You can use it on error. So I guess uh, if the user entered it, cancel. On a you know normal display box, you could handle that or something. But other than that, that's a uh, very simple and very useful way of using try and catch blocks. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.